Good morning. Good morning. It is sunny. What is happening? Look at it. What is that ball in the sky? That really hurts my eyes when I look at it. <laughs> we are on our way to Devonport. Uh, we are going to drive. Uh, you can get the boat over. It's $30 return. It's 15 each way. Apparently it's really nice though. And if you come back at night time, you can see all of like the Auckland skyline lit up at night. But we don't have $30 each, so we're driving. It's only 20 minutes away from Auckland, so we're just going to jump on the motorway and head over to Devonport and enjoy the blue sky. subscribers want to see. Maybe they do want to see a motorway. Maybe they're motorway enthusiasts like at heart. No? No? This is, this is how you merge. This is how you merge. Not into that red car. Beautifully done. Love the smell of the seaside. <sighs> Scott's gonna have a go. <laughs> I walked 300 miles to the nearest toilet but at least I came back just in time for coffee because that is how we start the vlogs that's how we do it big greasy breakfast and a flat white with all pretty paddles on it yes so we came away from the water and found around a corner there's somewhere called Clary's Calf and it's 1580 for a big breakfast which is really good because everyone else charges like 20 odd bucks for a big breakfast. So let us look at the bacon. <gasps> bacon, 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 bacon.
so that was my Victoria. I couldn't get my um, GoPro out of the casing really just because it was so windy as you can see, but the views were like stunning. And that like old World War II gun was basically just a playground for little spoiled brats who like to scream at the top of their lungs. Um, I just had a flashback. We picked up this brochure because like I said, we want to go and visit some of the Pacific Islands. Um, so we don't know, this like really brings it back. Do you remember, I was just saying to Scott, when you could only book holidays through a travel agent. You'd go to like Thomas Cook or First Choice, you'd actually physically go in and then you'd go in a few weeks before and pick up those brochures, which were like the size of a small child. Um, and you used to just pick up loads, even though you knew where you were going that year, you'd still pick up loads of brochures and like cart them home. And I remember as I was looking through this, I haven't, I haven't looked at a travel brochure in years. And I actually really should because like how they write about resorts and stuff. Being a writer, I could get some tips. But you know the end page where it takes you to the terms conditions? I remember when I was about seven or eight and we used to have these brochures lying around at home. I never used to look at the hotels. I used to strip straight to the back and read the terms conditions about how much luggage you could take, about how early you have to be at the airport, about um, travel documents you need to bring with you. And it just reminded me when I flipped to the back of this brochure that I used to sit there and read this stuff. What kind of child was I? But I should have really known that I was up for a life of travel, really, doing that. Anyway, we're almost home, but we're gonna come straight back out because, I mean, just look at it. It's, it's too stunning to stay in and we're gonna have a look at a trip to one of the islands. I've been home for a couple of hours guys and we decided to have a couple of beers. I'm gonna get a couple more because it's beautiful outside. It's really windy, absolutely freezing cold. Um, but the sun is out and I am not complaining. Beer. Come on, there we go. Ooh, yes. Um, we're looking at going on a trip to Tonga. We want to go to Samoa, Tonga and Vanuatu. And it looks like Tonga is the cheapest out of three. It has no infrastructure for tourists whatsoever. And that's what excites me. So we're looking into that now, watching YouTube videos and accommodation options and doing our research because Tonga is somewhere you really have to research, apparently. Take the time to chat with the local patio sellers for a beautiful memento. Hey guys, we just had a pretty silly evening. We just had a couple of beers and Scott spilled his beer all over the bed. So on that note, we're gonna go out and get some dinner and have a few more drinks. Saturday night, why not? Um, hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna leave it here for tonight. Might film a bit when I go out, but probably not. So if you like to give it a big thumbs up and there will be more vlogs coming from me, probably only two main channel videos a week and then just more vlogs. But I'll talk to you about that later. And I love you. I love you.